Hi, so glad to see you and welcome to Do Not Let Your Lamp Go Dry. If you would like to see the other posts on this blog from which I'm discussing this, simply go to www.donotletyourlampgodry.blogspot.com. Today I just want to say, do not be swayed by the raging of the foolish who want to rebel against their Creator. How clearly do the following verses describe the time in which we live? Psalm, verses 1 to 4, for example, reads, Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder, and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. In verses 10 to 12, Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. I would encourage you to, to read the full chapter for the sake of context. But how does this describe so well the time in which we live? Well, atheists and others who want to have the world respond to their personal agendas and lusts rage loudly today, demanding their rights, demanding that the world accept their agenda and opinion and live not by the words of scripture and God's advice. Rather, above the rights of God, their creator, they want to vault what they call their human rights. Blinded by their lusts and sins, they imagine all sorts of vain things, and as we read, they set themselves to work together against all that the Bible stands for and God's word. They reel against Christians and against Christ, demanding that the world, including Christians, break away from that which the Lord has decreed, and from that which they call cords, which bind us to Christ. Being blinded to the fact that it is love which binds us to our Lord. Is it any wonder that God in heaven laughs and holds them in derision, as willful children screaming in frustration against their Creator, over whom they have absolutely no power or control? This is why they are admonished in verse 10 to 12 to be wise, serve the Lord with fear, make up with the sun now whilst you have the chance and before you perish forever at that time when his wrath is kindled and those who have chosen sin rather than salvation are cast into outer darkness forever. Join instead with those who have accepted the greatest gift of all, which is redemption from sin and the opportunity to move from the living dead to eternal life, where there is peace and joy in the presence of the King. Come out from among them, my dear friends, and learn how much God loves you. Find a truly Bible-based church and speak to the pastor who can lead you into the peace and tranquility and knowledge that Jesus has already died for your sins and you can now join with the multitude of brothers and sisters who are already enjoying eternal life. In what has just been said, all scripture is taken from the King James Version of the Bible. May God bless you and keep you until we meet again.